Hey guys, what's up? Clue your Hacker here, and today we're going to take a look at how to customize our Windows desktop. Now, as you can see, I am in Windows, however, I am using a virtual machine, and if you guys don't know what a virtual machine is, it is basically a way that I can run Windows without having to reboot using Boot Camp on my Mac. Now, if you're using Windows and don't have a Mac, this information does not apply to you, so it doesn't really matter that much. Now, there's several things that you can do to basically customize Windows, especially Windows 7. Um, the first one that you can do is you can just go to Microsoft and get themes. So, for example, type in google.com. Hopefully it'll go faster than that. And I'm going to type in Microsoft Windows 7 themes, and I'll post this in the link on the bottom. Now, as you can see, I can get several themes, which are very nice. I'm going to get a water drop theme. And they have an Easter theme, but Easter's already passed. To extract the files. Wait for it to load, and now here it is. Very, very high quality um, themes as far as the uh, wallpaper is concerned. But let's say you want to change your cursor. Well, there's a good program out there. I'm going to launch Chrome. And it is actually called Cursor FX, which is very nice. And they offer two versions basically a pro and a free version. I'd recommend going with the pro. I mean the free, excuse me, because the free is free. But if you can afford the Pro, go with the Pro. So we'll just download it. Save. Now this is completely legitimate. You know if it's a CNET download.com, it's completely legitimate. CNET would definitely not put any spyware or adware, and I've used this company and bought a um, products from them before and it's it's very good it's a good company to go through Stardock if you don't believe me just look at other people's uh, YouTube videos they have definitely showed off Stardock before including um, my old YouTube channel which I showed it so we'll wait for this to download and I will basically pause the video when it comes back I don't know why it's going so slow today Let's try this again. So I'm going to pause this and then we're going to uh, take a look at it in a second. Okay guys, we're back and I downloaded the um, program here, the cursor effects, and what this will do is to give you guys a quick recap, is it will allow you to change your cursors. So I'll show you in a minute. This slows down uh, Windows 7, the screen recording program, so I do apologize if there's a bit of a lag. Very quick and easy to install, however. Hopefully. So it's going to launch that program. And here it is. Um, to start off with, they give you quite a bit of cursors just to choose from. I like the hand one. Allows you to point. And that has an extremely powerful lag. Really, really, really lagging today. But. As you can see, it's very, very nice. It's a, it's a very cool way to basically customize it. And if you're looking for more themes that you can download, launch that. You can go to a place called Win Customize. And basically, scroll to the right. Scroll down. I guess they changed their website. 
see here. Hit explore. And then cursor effects. Now you have access to several effects that you can get. Let's see one that looks pretty cool. See that one looks interesting. So all you have to do is just download it. Downloads, I click it, and it should change automatically. Give it a second, and I'll go back to the old one. And now here's the new one. Looks very cool. And as you can see, that's just one way to customize it. Now I'm going to turn this off because the screen recording program actually really slows this down. But this won't affect any of your speed at all. There we go. There we go. Now we're a little bit faster. Okay, now the second thing I want to show you guys, or the third thing I should say, is a program called Fences. Now if you're like me and have a lot of desktop icons basically in use, you want to use a program called Fences, and this is a free program, but it also offers a pro version. I'd recommend the free. It is absolutely free. You get it from CNET Download. Very easy to use. However, I might run into problems with downloading this. You need a the latest version of .NET, so I'm not really sure if I'm going to be able to have this work. We shall see. Things are definitely downloading faster. Run. And it should take a couple of seconds to finish installing. Hopefully not forever, because we get bored. And if you have the attention span pretty well, then you have stuck through this whole video, or skipped through parts of it, and I give you guys full credit for that. I appreciate it. It's a bit late. Not too much. All right. Now, Fences, before we uh, start this up here, give you guys a quick look at what Fences is exactly, but it allows you to basically organize your desktop into rows, as you can see through the screenshot here. It's very easy to use, and it will run much faster. and you guys will be able to see this. Now as you can see, it basically organized my whole entire desktop, which is very, very nice. And now it says I'm ready to go. And this is web links, this is my programs, these are my folders, these are my files and documents, and I can keep dragging out. Now you have one part of this organized. The final thing I want to show you guys, and I already did a video for this, and it's probably been my most views, is the fact that you can get a program that will allow you to have the Macintosh dock on your desktop and this is called object dock and you can download this for free and I guarantee you this video will probably not get nearly as many views as my video I've already shown which is like 45,000 views or something like that it is free just like these other and it all comes from the same company. Just want to see how much time we have here. Okay, we don't have much time, so I'm going to go a little bit quick. I think YouTube allows me about 11 minutes, which is very nice of them. But if you have not seen this video, I guess I'm, I'll just 
I'll install it on my own time. You can check out the link I've posted in the link section of how to basically add a Mac dock into your computer or PC, I should say, because Macs already have them. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. I'm going to make more videos about themes and installing, but that's just a basic look through on how to have a better performance as far as organization on your computer using a couple of things like and customization as well for your mouse. But that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I will make more videos on more advanced customization, but this is the basics. And once you get the basics down, um, I will make more videos, so you can check that out. And definitely comment, rate, and subscribe, and thank you guys for watching these videos. I definitely like the subscriptions and the like buttons, so definitely comment, rate, and subscribe. And as you can see, I am running it on a Mac computer. But it does pretty well, except when it's recording. So thank you guys, and like I said, definitely comment, rate, and subscribe.